Hi, I'm Philip, and this is my partner Nicole. Separately, it's been our dream to travel the world, and then we met. And the time was right to make a plan, buy a boat, grab the cat, and sail away. On our adventure, we are hoping to learn and discover more about the culture, cuisine, history, and natural wonders of our beautiful world. Join us on our voyage of discovery and learn with us. Welcome aboard Sailing Kuwoka. Time to learn the rigging, how to sail. First thing you need to know is rigging. First thing you need to know is rigging. <clears throat> There's two types of rigging, standing rigging and running rigging. Standing rigging does just that. It stays put standing. Running rigging moves. We'll start with the standing rigging. If you look right here behind you, this wire going up this is one? a side stay or a shroud, also known as a shroud. It goes up and keeps the mast erect. That's the mizzen shroud because this is the mizzen mast. This is the mizzen mast. That's the mizzen boom. That's the mizzen boom. Mizzen halyard. Mizzen halyard. Mizzen halyard winch. Mizzen halyard winch. There's also the main. You got the main mast. Hold on. The, mizzen, the main mast in the front goes up and it's supported by the main shrouds on the sides and the forestay at the bow of the boat. I don't know where the shrouds are. The shrouds are the wires that come down. Which wires? There's plenty <clears throat> these, of wires. These metal wires. Okay, there's like four metal wires. Yeah, those are the shrouds. There's multiple. Multiple shrouds, there's one forestay. The jib sail is wrapped around the forestay. Okay, so the main mast goes up and is supported by the main standing rigging. And it's got a main boom right here, right above my head. Uh, you can uh, control the main boom with this rope right here. This is the main sheet. This is the main control line. Sheets out, sheets in. <clears throat> and just like we've got the, the mizzen halyard and the mizzen halyard winch, there's also the main halyard and the main halyard winch. And there's also the jib halyard and jib halyard winch. Because there's two sails on the main mast, right? Does that make sense? Yeah? Nod your head if you understand. No? We're doing it Captain Ron style. I want you to touch everything and repeat after me. Force day. Force day. Force day. Force day. The, the, the jib sail. Jib sail. Furling drum. Furling drum. Furling line. Furling line. There are two sheets. This is the jib sheet. Port starboard jib sheet. There's two of them. Sides of the boat. Okay, what'd you say? Jib sheet. Jib sheet. Jib sheet. Jib sheet. Jib sheet. Port side shroud. Port side shroud. <laughs> Whisker pole. Whisker pole. Main mast. Main mast. Jib halyard. Jib halyard. Jib halyard winch. Jib halyard winch. Main halyard. There's two main halyards, but main, main halyard. Main halyard. Main halyard winch. Main halyard winch. Boom. Main boom. Uh, this is the outhaul winch. Outhaul winch. He's for some sort of purpose. Side stay or shroud. I'm just gonna call it shroud. Shroud. It's a shroud! Jib furling line. Jib furling line. Jib sheet port. Jib sheet starboard. And these 
or the main winches. Starboard and port winch. Main sheet. Port winch. Or starboard winch. Okay. Main sheet. So it's set up really for single handing if you if you had to. Uh, because all the control lines, the sheets, main sheet, mizzen sheet, and the jib sheets all run right here to the helm. It's not ideal. You can't hoist the sail from the from the cockpit, you have to go forward. You can hoist this one from the cockpit. Well, standing right here at least. Um, so it's pretty pretty secure. This guy's got a pretty sweet job. Flying uh, around the mouth of this inlet, big pictures of boats. Hey, how you doing everybody? Today is a beautiful day. Today we're going to start um, peeling off the vinyl lettering for the old name. Everything I've read about online is when you're renaming a boat, you have to remove every, you got to strike the name from Poseidon's ledger by removing everything that has that name on the boat and take it off. So, got my heat gun here and I got my a scraper and here you can see the old name Waith. Time to remove it. Blast it with a heat gun a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh that is actually immensely satisfying. It's like when you cover your hand with glue. Just peel it off back to grade school. Once we get all the names off, we're gonna do a little ceremony to purge the name. As tradition demands. So time to repaint the names on the front of the boat and Got my buffing pads. I have to hit it with a couple passes of the sander. But I still wasn't able to get all the letters off, I don't think, without like getting too deep. So I'm just gonna paint it, polish it, buff it up, and paint the name on it. Worry about it later. Check it out. Got some new streamers for the cockpit. <laughs> okay, time to clean. The majority of any paint job is prep. After a little sanding and buffing, I used acetone to clean the surface of the boat. I guess I look pretty good. You gonna come help? With the name painted on the bow, it was time to do this ceremony. We were going to worry about painting the transom later. Poseidon, O mighty and great ruler of the seas and ocean, 
to whom all ships and we who venture upon your vast domain are required to pay homage. I implore you in your graciousness to expunge from, for all time from your records and recollection the name Waith, which has ceased to be an entity in your kingdom. As proof thereof, we submit this ingot bearing her name to be corrupted through your powers and forever be expunged from the sea. SV. In grateful acknowledgement of your munificence and dispensation, we offer you these libations to your majesty and your court. Cheers! Cheers, love. Cheers, Libby. Woo! There's your, so there's your, your donation. <laughs> Woo! Prosecco. The words having been spoken, the tribute paid, and the name being set, we were nearly ready to venture out into Poseidon's realm. But first, we needed to top off our fuel and water tank. Topped off. We got fuel. We got water. So, first shift until midnight. We'll both do it. And then we do three hours, and you can wake me up, and I'll do three to six. You do 12 to three, I'll do three to six. And then I'm going to go to bed, and then you're up from six, seven, eight, nine. Six to nine. And then I'll wake up, and then you can go to bed from 9, 10, 11, 10, 11, 12, 10 to 12, take a nap. And then we'll both be on again, right? Isn't that how it works? Yeah. Well, oh, pretty excited today. Motoring down the ICW, we just topped off our fuel tank and water tank. We might stop once more in Fort Pierce before heading out channel into the ocean, to the Atlantic. We're going to head south around uh, Miami and go down to the Keys. Let's see, we got pretty good wind headed our way. We, it'll be right on our beam or just aft. Excited to get out of the space coast of Florida. We're feeling a little more confident in ourselves. We went and did our first docking maneuver there at the fuel dock. Uh, the autopilot is working. We've got it tuned and dialed in. We're just uh, making final preparations, cleaning up and stowing stuff as we're motoring down the ICW to prepare for offshore, our first overnight passage. Headed out to sea. Baby. Bye bye. Sailing at last. Still getting the wood. The sails trimmed, but no motor. Like right off the bat, um, Philip and I took uh, some Germanine. Philip's yeah down there making chili. Uh, I I quickly as soon as we got out of the channel it started getting choppy like this, so I made us some wraps and we got some food in our stomachs. Um, definitely want some more food in our in my stomach. <laughs> but um, yeah, don't don't leave for sailing on an empty stomach. Don't leave the channel on an empty stomach. There we go. See? This friendly pair of dolphins joined us to see us off and out of the channel as we began our journey southward. No matter how many times we see dolphins, we still get excited. They are a sign of good luck. 
First day out to sea. We're running the wind just off the beam of the, or just off the stern. See the flag of flying. Whoa. Still see shore. Well, today is the first day, well, first night I've ever been on a sailboat overnight. Five o'clock in the morning, we're maybe two miles offshore, just a little bit under two miles offshore. I'm trying to keep out of the uh, Gulf Stream out there. We're coming up on Fort Lauderdale. Both the wind and the waves have been hitting us on the beam, making it pretty uncomfortable, pretty rocky. We're just getting tossed all over the place. It was a little rough, but uh, it's been real, real light. Not real, real windy, but we're making headway. We're making pretty good time. Four and a half, oh, five knots. This is it's awesome. I love it. I'm out. Nobody around. You can see the lights off the coast. You know, there's all the high rises and stuff. Fort Lauderdale. Wonder what all those people are doing. Sleeping. It's four o'clock in the morning. Probably sleep, sleep. I'm gonna go wake Nicole up in uh, maybe another hour, go around sunrise. And... Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a great first night out on the uh, first night out on the water. Underway. Seasick anymore, so that's good. That's great. Get any sleep? Yeah. Um, I probably got an hour of sleep. <laughs> Nothing I'm not used to. Excuse <laughs> me. Pulled a lot of old nighters in college. Yeah. So, that was your first overnight passage? Ah, it was beautiful. Uh, There's a gentle breeze, probably not enough wind, and we kept getting slammed on the sides by the waves. But uh, so I got a, had a couple of little rain showers, but no squalls. It just stole the wind briefly, and we're slowly making our way. Uh, feel pretty good, only having slept maybe an hour or two. Um, Probably about time for another cup of coffee here in a little bit. South Beach. Hi, Mom. South Beach, baby. So, second overnight passage. How are you feeling? It was long. Brutal, like a washing machine. Lots of chop. Following seas, rocking back and forth like this all night. Couldn't sleep. Autopilot struggling to keep up. Well, here we are. We made it. Key West. Local time, 8:15. Oh, it was a. Uh, It'll be good to set the hook or pick up a mooring ball, but I'm tired. Pass out. Next week on Sailing Kuwoka, our parental units pay us a visit and they meet for the first time as we explore around Key West. Nicole gets very excited to see her dear friend Nina, 
who joins our crew and we begin sailing through the keys.